We all come to a story with hopes and expectations, looking for an answer. Sometimes it would be better to live with that hope without ever knowing the full story. In a horror story, there are only victims and monsters. And the trick is not to end up as either. But trapped by the genre, we are all ripped to pieces along the way. This is not the story I hoped it would be. This is not the ending I wanted. This story will eat us alive. This story is a monster. And monsters wear many faces. Oh, <laughs> 
I'm good, Mom. How are you? This trip might take a little longer than I thought. I'm sorry I've been gone so much lately, Logan. Oh my god, Mom, it's not your fault. People get all murdery. What happened? Just work stuff. Right. Well, Dad and I are just watching the latest episode of Night Springs here. Mom, it's so good. No spoilers. I'll let you get back to the show. You were supposed to wait and watch with me. I love you both. This is what happens when you go on work trips, Mom. Love you too. And say hi to Casey. Tell him to stop brooding so much. Logan? I will. Bye, kiddo. Logan thinks you should try cheering up. <laughs> Snarky kid. Wonder where she gets that from. It can't be a coincidence that another body turns up just as we arrive in town. Feels like the killer's leaving us a message. I'm glad you're on this case with me, Anderson. It's right up your alley. You should take lead. Think of me as the backup. Okay. Any words of advice? Nothing that would cheer anyone up. A deputy was supposed to be here to show us to the crime scene. There's the car, so where's the deputy? <laughs> Eaten by a bear? I'll check out that map. They planned for the murder to happen here. Passing the time with equipment ready. They were waiting for him. But why Nightingale? He's been missing for 13 years. Why here? Why now? Profiling. Get into the subject's head. See what they saw. Feel what they felt. Use whatever I know about them to guide my intuition to a revelation. Piece it together. Agent Nightingale has been MIA for 13 years. How did he end up here? Up from the lake that's no lake. It's dark. He was there too. You are not allowed in the lake until he says otherwise. Robert Nightingale came from the lake before his murder. Nightingale was chosen as the victim. Why? Click the switch. It goes click. Lights are off. But somebody's home. Somebody's home. This wasn't some random act of violence. This was a ritual. And Nightingale a component. They didn't see him as a person. More like a container for something. A page full of texts on one side. Not a printout. Written with a typewriter. Old school. Lines scratched out and edits added with a pen. Mm-hmm. Like a manuscript. A page of a story. Hmm. The killer left a message. It's for us. The text is about us. The victim was one of their own. FBI Special Agent Robert Nightingale. And then there was the page they found. The first step down into terrifying depths. Reading, Reading the, the words. words. These, These words, words felt, like a message. felt like a message. Someone knew they were here. Someone playing a game with them. 
An invitation. How could they not accept? Even if they knew it would end up hurting them. Someone's been watching us. Playing a sick game with us. You were right. This is right up my alley. Nightingale came this way. Either he dropped this page, or the killers left it for us. I should profile Nightingale about this page. We found a page in the woods. A story about these events. What is Nightingale's role in this? I carry his words close to my chest now. Inside. The awful truth. You must dig it out. Something was put inside him. In his chest. I must find out what. The victim was one of their own. FBI Special Agent Robert Nightingale, gone missing here 13 years ago. Now he had suddenly turned up, only to be murdered in a brutal ritual on the very day of their arrival. And then there was the page. This page. The first page that they had found. Not the last. The first step down into terrifying depths. Secret truths trembling beyond the threshold. Reading the words, these words, felt like a message was a message. Someone knew they were here. What they were doing. Someone playing a game with them. Leading them on. An invitation. How could they not accept? The sheer audacity of this impossible mystery presented to them. Even if they knew it would end up hurting them. I can't get that manuscript page out of my head. I've never seen killers reach out so directly before. Damn impressive work so far. With your technique, these hunches were moving fast. I wasn't sure about taking a case so far from home, but I'm thrilled to be here for this mystery. Need to swing by the lodge to get anything from the field office? No, I'm all set. I'll park there anyway. I want to walk to the diner, get a feel for the town. The diner's just up the waterfront. Shouldn't keep the sheriff and our witnesses waiting. I smell coffee. The bookers were at Cauldron Lake. Why? This was built to hide what's there. They say the rider fell in the lake. Private party. No trespassing. My book has questions. Pass the bolt cutters. They broke in for the sake of Tammy's book. Nothing to do with a murder. They were telling the truth. So you found something there, right? A necklace these cultists may have dropped. Okay. Wow. How did you put that together? It's evidence. You need to hand it over. Okay. Okay. Told you not to keep that thing to me. Thanks. This could prove to be helpful. Do me a favor. Stick around town for now, in case we have any more questions. <laughs> like we'd even dream of missing dear Oh, God. Saga! Saga Anderson. As I live and breathe. I thought we'd never see you back here after that awful, awful thing happened to your baby girl. How are you? Um, I'm sorry. Who are you? I don't know what you're talking about. 
It's me, silly. Rose. You know me. I don't think I do. And what horrible thing happened to my baby girl? She drowned. Your daughter. That's so weird, you don't remember. How do you know I have a daughter? Oh, I know what this is. You're blocking out your traumatic memories. Happens on TV all the time. No. You're mistaking me for someone else. <laughs> if you say so. It only had a tour guide also. It's bear season. Oh no, a bear. Help. Did somebody call for a tour guide? Oh, wow. Koskala Brothers Adventure Tours. Unforgettable tour experiences at affordable prices. That's right. I'm Ilmo Koskala, voted best coffee roaster slash tour guide by Coffee World Magazine. And I'm here to give you the tour of a lifetime. But Ilmo, I've heard the government has seized and restricted access to many local nature attractions. That is true, Yako. Many local attractions have recently become fenced off by the government. And that's why, at Koskala Brothers Adventure Tours, we say, Fuck the government! We have bolt cutters. Oh, wow. You think of everything. And we'll take you anywhere! Hiking through the scenic Elderwood National Park. Fishing in the crystal clear waters of Bright Falls Dam. Bird watching at Majestic Mirror Peak. The tour of a lifetime is just one phone call away. Book now to get a 9% discount on this limited edition Oh Dear Diner Coffee Thermos. page we found at Cauldron Lake. Nightingale haunted Saga. Didn't see her. The Taken could not see into bright light. Light hurt them, made them vulnerable. Nightingale had no heart, but here he was, killing. Someone's created a fucked up fantasy about us. Hey, hold on. We found these kinds of pages. I didn't think they were relevant to this case. I have them right here.
my guns out in the hall. Gotta get it back. Go! Clock out, get a beer. Or maybe three. I need to come clean, Anderson. I know why Nightingale was here 13 years ago. He was chasing a writer, Alan Wake. Tell me, mentioned him. She's writing a book on his disappearance. You know the detective character from his books, Alex Casey. Yeah, I've heard the jokes at the office. Cold case Casey. Murder case Casey. <laughs> Sorry. Ha uh ha. -huh. It's the same name, similar job. It's the first thing anyone thinks of. It annoyed me, but that was it. Then, ten years ago, I started getting strange letters in the mail. Fragments of prose describing murders. You've heard the stories about what happened in New York. Some of it, at least. Bodies started to pile up. It was a murder cult. Turns out the fragments sent to me were from the crime books of Alan Wake. The cult was copycatting the murders from the books. In their heads, they were performing a ritual to bring Wake back. Their imagined prophet. After that case, I started looking into Wake's disappearance on the side. And you thought this case might be connected to him? His name does keep popping up. I just wanted you to have all the facts. Next time, give them to me before we find ourselves in the middle of a horror story. Nightingale's heart to get to the overlap. Where is it? The cult has gained close. It was there that he was risen. Nightingale was there. The opposite of sunspots. I was at that. That's not it. I don't have what I need to find Nightingale's heart. There must be more. I know Nightingale is somewhere around Cauldron Lake. The tree was a threshold. This place and the dark place. <laughs> You're in over your head. Next stop, Caldera Street Station. The threshold, like a doorway, leading to Nightingale. It's somehow connected to a tree, which is ladle. Nightingale's heart. Where is it? For a while, they played cards in the general store. The witch had stolen his heart. Get out of my house. Nightingale's heart is at the general store, in a fridge.
think I'm in the overlap. Take a breath. He's... He's changed the story. The, the dark presence. We must stop it before... Easy now. First things first. What's your name? My name is Alan Wake. I'm a writer. I, I've been... Wake? Where did you come from? You've been missing for 13 years. 13... Anders, where did you go? All of a sudden, the radio stopped working, and then that flooding just disappeared. A crazy forest. Is this who I think it is? Casey, say hello to Alan Wake. Mr. Wake, this is Special Agent Alex Casey. He'll escort you to our car. Casey, I'll meet you there, right after I take a look around. If the flooding's receded, there might be evidence we missed earlier. Okay. See you there. Alex Casey? How... Am I still... Is this the dark place? No, it can't be. I got out. Yeah, the P.I. from your books has the same name as me. Great. Moving on. It's a bit of a hike to the car, Wake. Just get your bearings, then we'll head out. I just... I, I need another minute. Cauldron Lake. I thought I'd never see this place again. Take your time. But you should know these woods aren't the safest. Yeah. Uh, it's getting dark. You have a flashlight? It's not safe without a light. I have a light. And a gun. You can relax, Wake. And Pages. If you see Pages of writing anywhere, you must take them and keep them safe. Our lives could depend on it. They have vital information. We know about the Pages, Wake. We'll keep an eye out for them. Okay. Okay, just give me a moment. Mr. Wake. We're taking you back to our field office in Bright Falls. You can freshen up there, and then we'll talk properly. Hey, Mom. Before you say anything, I'm totally fine. Don't freak out. Dad shouldn't have even texted you. Logan? No one texted me. What's going on? I'm totally fine. I slipped, that's all. God, it's not the end of the world. Put your father on the phone. Um, okay. Dad, it's Mom. Don't worry, hun. Logan slipped in the shower and bumped her head. She has a slight concussion, but I'm keeping an eye on her. 
<laughs> Lucky I heard her fall. She could have drowned. Jesus, David. Why didn't you call? I tried. It didn't go through. She's fine, really. But what about you? You sound stressed. No, it's, uh... Just a weird case, that's all. Well, if you need a hint, my years of board game victories tell me Colonel Mustard did it. <laughs> I'll, I'll keep an eye out for him. <laughs> Love you, Dave. Love you too, honey. Wanna say bye to Logan? Just tell her I love her. Bye for now. Is there anyone you'd like us to reach out to, Mr. Wake? You've been gone a long time. No. No. If they'd be in danger, it'll come for me. Okay, let's talk about something else. Robert Nightingale. Do you know him? You were both here in 2010. The Dark Presence got him back then. That's the last time I saw him. 13 years. Hey. Tell us about the pages. You had what looks like a title page with you. Return. Is this the name of the story on these pages? The writer's name has been scratched out pretty violently. But your name can still be made out underneath. <laughs> scratched out. Yeah. Scratch. Did you write these pages, Mr. Wake? I'm trying to remember. It's... It's... It's a crazy jumble, like a... Like a nightmare. I, it doesn't... It doesn't make sense. with no memory of how I'd gotten there. It was out of control. I didn't need another mugshot in the fucking tabloids. Had I already done the show? Was that a recording? I felt a strange pull toward the TV. Sit down, sit down. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> oh, 
Oh, man. It is so good to see you, Alan. Uh, this must be an exciting time for you. Tell me, does it ever get old? So does what get old? Publishing a new book. Are you okay there, my friend? You look like you've been cooped up in the writer's room for a few too many years. <laughs> this is exactly how I feel. <laughs> you know, I've waited so long to get my hands on the sequel to Departure. You left us on quite the cliffhanger. We've all been dying to know what it's not a lake, it's an ocean really means. You and me both. Well, our wait is over. Your new book, Initiation, hits the shelves tomorrow. What? That's exactly what every reader will be asking. This book is mind-bending. It's so cerebral. I mean, how would you describe it? A an auto-fictional thought experiment? A, a, a horror story? A postmodern detective story? Wait. This isn't right. I, I haven't written anything. He's so humble. Okay, you got me. Good prank, very funny. But yeah, I sad to say, I, I, I've not written this. I, I'd remember if I'd written a book, right? Or maybe it was written by your evil double. <laughs> ah, well played, man. That is spot on, playing the role here. Pretending the world of the book overlaps our own? That's very meta indeed. You see, Initiation tells the story of a fictional writer named Alan Wake, who is trapped in a nightmare, desperately trying to find the manuscript of a novel he has forgotten he has written. The book is set in New York, but it might not be New York at all. He is tormented by his dark doppelganger, and guided by visions of a fictional detective he has written. That's right. Alex Casey is in this book as well. Uh, I guess we'll just keep doing this the whole show. The joke's on me. But isn't that what you sign up for with autofiction? No, but seriously, I found the, the structure of the reality you build in the book fascinating. It reminded me of The Matrix. I mean, the writer is physically in his writer's room, trapped there, and he projects himself out to this dark dream of New York through the story he is writing. Uh, like astral projection. Did I get that right? Yeah, that's exactly right. Go on. I should be taking notes here. Uh, this is great stuff. Notes to that other Alan Wake in that room writing this as we speak? Are we all in your story, Alan? No, I, I, I wish you every success with your new book, Alan. I hope it's as successful as your best-selling Alex Casey series. Initiation hits the shelves tomorrow. After this, I'm sure we'll all be eagerly awaiting the culmination of this hero's journey trilogy of yours. A book called Return, perhaps. <laughs> Man, thank you for one of the strangest interviews of my entire career, Alan. <laughs> All this talk of meta narratives. I have to expect them to disappear once this scene ends. surfaced about riding here for countless days a plot board for mapping out a story on the index cards the nightmare that just happened to me a summary of the story so far but other notes as well warnings I had written them I couldn't remember what it all meant the name Scratch filled me with dread. 
I could trust these words. I had to act on them. You must write to escape. I didn't remember much, but I knew my thoughts and ideas could manifest as reality in this dark place. I'd use my writing to project myself out of this room, like a deep sea diver to go deeper and explore the depths of this prison for a way out. This room was my boat. Writing was my lifeline. I would start again at the talk show. detective in the film series and of course we have alan wake here the best-selling writer of the books the films are based on let's do this welcome back to the show so alan as the uh, creator of the character how do you feel about this Sorry, what? I know it can be an awkward question with the man sitting right next to you, but I mean, how do you feel about him in the role of Casey? Does he look the part to you? Uh, he looks exactly like I always imagined Casey to be. It's uncanny. Thank you. That means so much to me. I'm a huge fan of your books. So, uh... What's the problem, Alan? Because on more than one occasion, you voiced your reservations about the adaptations. Uh, it's not that. They're their own thing. They've gone with choices that are different from mine. I, I, I feel protective about my stories, and these adaptations... I, I don't know. I, I guess I just wish I could have been more involved in making them. Well... In that case, you won't have seen this either. We have a clip from the new film, Murder Case Casey. Should we roll it, or do you want to say something first, Sam? Nah, just roll it. This city was an old scar that refused to heal. The rain made it fester. It needed the sun, but there was only the night. I was tired. Insomnia covered me like a plastic film. I was watching the world through a rain-slick window, my own reflection haunting the view. I was trying to track down a missing writer. My only clue was a table lamp shaped like an angel, the only thing to shed light on this sordid mystery. Great. Murder case, Casey. Great job, Sam. Very exciting and very meta. I'm looking forward to seeing more. Wait, stop. What was that about a writer? About a lamp? myself. I have to fight it. I have to remember the clicker, the light switch. I lost it, but I have the lamp now. The lamp the switch was cut from. This place is a nightmare. Not real and yet more real than anything. The danger and the horror are real. It feeds off my mind, twisting whatever it takes into psychotic reality. I'm trapped here. I write to escape. I've tried this many times, written countless stories, forgotten how many. I keep failing. 
But I must keep trying. I use the story to dive deeper. Every word I write is a step forward on this spiral in the darkness. I dive to the bottom to find the answer, the, the map, the key, the compass. But that's combined to form a door leading out. But how do you open a door that's not a door? At the bottom of an ocean, that's not an ocean. And a lake, that's not a lake. Yes. Do you know who I am? No. Who is this? We'll get to that later. There are spies all over. Shadows. A sense of deja vu washed over me. Had I had this conversation before? Helen, listen to me carefully. Caldera Street Station, the subway. You need to go there. I'll call you again later. Make sure to pick up. Do I know you? I, I know you from somewhere. You've just forgotten again. We're in this together. Don't worry. I got it now. We've been working. Great. I, I'm losing you. Hello? Hello? <laughs> on the page. What the hell? Oh, hey. We met at Door's show. Alan Wake, the writer. I'm Alex Casey, looking into a murder. Come on, what... What is this? There's a piece of evidence, a manuscript of a novel. You wouldn't know anything about it? A manuscript? What manuscript? I need to see it. Rumor had it the manuscript contained the details of the murders. A murder cult was following the story to commit their gruesome acts. Was Wake their leader? Had he written it? How far would he go to create a perfect work of art? Or would he be the next victim? Progress, but I'm in danger. The dark presence. Help me. Please, help me. I could sense it. I was closer to home. 
Had the woman in the vision helped me somehow? Something had changed outside Parliament Tower, where I'd lived with Alice. It was out there, waiting for me. Helping me. Did you go deeper to the overlap? Are you talking about the murder site? Yeah, I, I, I did. I, I. That's fantastic, Alan. We're closer to getting out. We're making progress. Well, we would be if you would answer my damn questions. Last time we spoke, you were pretty worried about Alice. Did you ever check Parliament Tower to make sure she really got out of the dark place? Well, of course she got out. That's why I'm here. That's the whole goddamn point. Be very careful, Alan. Dark presence is stealing from you. It can already manifest as your double. Scratch will come. Wait, wait, hello? thinking I'd make it as an artist. And then I met Alan. We had a good thing. We were both dedicated by our creative ambitions. The only difference was that Alan's work made money. He brought me work when he could. I took his promo shots, um, created covers for his books. I'm sure he forced his publisher into it. I was taking photos, just not my photos. And that gnawed at me. Things got complicated sometimes, but that's life, right? We loved each other. Then Alan hit a block. I brought out a meaner side of him. One I didn't like. I set up a trip to see a doctor in Washington. I didn't tell him until we got there. We argued. Things went wrong. And he was just gone. Drowned, allegedly. It's easy for people to think it was my fault. Hell, I do, too, sometimes. About six years ago, I started hearing noises in the night. Typewriter keys clacking. Voices. Alan was back. Haunting me. Then it got violent. It was Alan. And yet, it was a monster. He always did have anger in him. I set up cameras around the apartment with motion sensors and flashes. Now, when the monster comes, I turn it into art. My nightmares caught on film. And this is the focus of my new exhibition. To show people... The world is so much darker than they ever knew. 
I'm calling this exhibit the dark place. Alice. Scratch was terrorizing her. Why? Let's recap what you've told us so far, Ellen. For the past 13 years, you've been trapped in a nightmare dimension called the Dark Place. Yeah. It's like New York, but it's not New York. And can be reached from the bottom of Cauldron Lake, but it's not really under the lake. And after all this time, you've managed to get out. Yeah, yeah. But so has your evil doppelganger. Mr. Scratch? Or is it the Dark Presence? Both. It's interchangeable. He's Scratch when he looks like me, but he can change into this other form. And Scratch, the Dark Presence, wants to rewrite the world in his own image. Which would be in your image, as he looks just like you. And turn the world into a fucking nightmare. During Deerfest, which is scheduled to take place in a couple of days. You got out of the Dark Place by writing a novel, the pages we've been finding. But your double edited it into a horror story that's now changing reality, taking over people, yeah. making them crazy, bringing the dark place to Bright Falls. Yes, fiction coming in contact with the dark place can change reality. The story is coming true, soaking into everything, like, like, like darkness when, it, when night falls. But last time... It... This will be back in 2010. Yes, last time it didn't happen all at once. The story came true bit by bit as it unfolded. And that dark presence was still bound to the lake. I stopped it before it got the ending it wanted. Before it broke free. Based on that, there's still time. Which brings us to your magical light switch. The clicker. Magical doesn't quite cover it. Scratch wants it to bring about his ending. That, that can't happen. If I can get the clicker, I can send him back to the dark place, make all the shit go away. Look, I know it's batshit crazy. My memory is, is full of holes and I, I'm not sure how much I can trust. It's like, it's like, it's like a half forgotten dream. Mr. 
Mr. Wake. Alan. We've seen our share of batshit crazy in the past 24 hours. What I want to know is, why am I? Why are we written into the story? I think I saw you. Or a vision of you in the dark place. I think you helped me reach out and escape somehow. With that in the story, Scratch would have edited it to get to you. To hurt you. We are all in danger. of it. Have you ever heard of the cult of the tree? Creepy bunch. In the habit of wearing deer masks, performing murder rituals, victims turning into monsters possessed by darkness, possibly inspired by a horror story written by a certain author. Hmm? Ring any bells? The cult. Yes. Yes. They have the clicker. If the cult has the clicker, does that make them scratch his followers? How are you so certain they even have the clicker? They could be working for Scratch. I, I don't remember. It's all confused. Alan, if I'm gonna act on this information, you need to be honest with me. Yeah, of course. Is he confused? Or is he hiding something? Wake said the cult has the clicker. How does he know? The writer is the reader. The next chapter. The next chapter. The next chapter. Keep the pages safe, the dark shining of the words. Wake is hiding pages. That's how he knows the cult has the clicker. Wake has a double. Mr. Scratch. Where is he now? A cloud of wrath wears my face. The dark place in your place. Scratching out my body of work. Scratch is here. In Washington. He's hunting Wake. Scratch looks just like Wake. Don't wake up the dreamer if your life is a dream. I swam to the shore, but the water is rising. Wake and Scratch are clearly connected. Maybe Scratch got out because Wake did. Or vice versa. Hold on for dear life on the Espresso Express! Oh! Soak in some local history at the Huatari Well, where two serial killers once hid the disemboweled bodies of their murder victims. Uh, it's not a haunted. No. <laughs> Come join Mocha Moose and the goats at our amusement park petting zoo. Just don't share your coffee with the goats. <laughs> Seriously, stop feeding our goats coffee. Seriously. It's not amusing. Take in amazing views from the slow roaster Ferris wheel. I can almost see the watery lighthouse trailer park. This is so much fun. And finish off at our beautiful gift shop where seniors and children under 10 receive a 9% discount on keychains and propane tanks. Welcome to Coffee World. We guarantee you'll jaw a great time.
Anderson, I, I didn't want to say this in front of Wake, but are you sure this is a good idea, going on your own? Assuming we believe the page, I need to check this out. We need to find the cult. Anyone we meet here could be a member. And this scratch guy. The evil doppelganger? It must be true, or else this guy can't write for shit. The quality of his writing aside, if this page turns out to be true like the rest have, this could be a breakthrough. We might solve this thing before a backup even arrives. Yeah, but they're taking their time, so just be careful out there. Meanwhile, I think me and Wake will have a chat. Maybe I can shake something loose. Okay. But remember what happened with the salt shaker. <laughs> yeah, yeah, real funny. The page placed me in a trailer somewhere in Watery. I should ask around. Elmo thinks the cult is just an urban legend. Or does he? There are things that go bump in the night. It's all true. It's all true. Sound the alarm, brother. Gather the troops, brother. Yako, the shadow of the forest is creeping closer. They don't think it's an urban legend at all. They understand it's dangerous. Ilmo made it sound like I lived here. Does he really believe that? Light, laughter, and love will guide you home. Saga and her daughter. Oh boy. Happy faces raise property value. Family comes first, Ilmo. We take care of her trailer while she's gone. She's one of us, Yako. Her spare key is safe and sound. The Koskala brothers have happy memories of me living here. This must be the story affecting them. I'll play along for now. I need the key to that trailer. For the Anderson trailer? What? Sweetie Pie, right on time! Like we were just saying, it's not true. The lies to hurt you and make you weak. Don't believe a word. They believe because deep down, they want to be told what to think. We're different. Rebels! You must stop it before it turns real. Don't be part of the story. Make the story. <laughs> stop the hell of it! <laughs> These old drunks don't seem affected by the horror story like the other locals are. Do they know what's happening here? How do you know about the story? Same as you, of course, sweetie pie. We are family. The Andersons. Vikings. Gods. So good to finally see you, Saga. I am your great uncle Odin. And this is your long lost Murfar. Tar! Sarasoka. He 
is your grandfather, and I am the old father. <laughs> Just as crazy as everyone else. Just as caught in it. I need to stay focused. I need to check out the trailer. Hello, Yako. Who is this incredibly attractive martial arts master? It's me, your brother, Ilmo. I now recognize you, but Ilmo, why are you dressed like that? Deerfest is almost here, which means we're <laughs> chopping! The prize says on all of our custom-designed Deerfest parade floats. Floats created by the award-winning team at Kalevala Knights Motorcycle Club. Winners of the last year's trophy for best Deerfest float featuring an animal that is not deer. That very team. And you're gonna get a kick <laughs> out of our latest float designs. <laughs> We've done it all. Deerfest floats, restaurant floats, floats shaped like things we can't show on television. Our floats are the best way to impress your friends, propose to your partner, or throw shade at an office colleague. And we don't do just Deerfest. Our floats are a perfect gift for weddings, birthdays, bar mitzvahs, or your scenario. Our floats will punch up any special occasion. <laughs> but why take our word for it? Let's hear it from one of our many, many happy customers. I was at Deerfest last year. The flows were pretty good. One of them was a swan. And that was the people liked it. And there you have it. Award-winning floats now at reduced prices that will... Knock you off your feet! Yeah! Order yours today! My newfound relatives. Cozy with the cult of the tree. And that's the clicker. In the hands of the cult, just like the page promised. Carlyvala Knights. That's the motorcycle club the Coscella brothers are in. I'll take Odin and Tor up on their offer and visit their nursing home right after I find this biker workshop. Thornton are members of the cult. Who's the leader? Brains leaking out like a yoke. The thrill of domination. Not one tree. The forest. The word. A secret like this doesn't die. There is more than one leader. I 
need to open the safe. What's the combination? People hate the puzzles, Zuma. Why not just use keys? People love the puzzles, Yaku. Only very smart people can think up good puzzles. Just look around and you will find the answer. Dedicated staff will be rewarded. The combination to the safe is somewhere in the gift shop. The materials listed for the parade float mention a mask. Where is it? Poor Mocha Moose. He never failed to amuse me. Now we know, Ilmo, there is such a thing as too much coffee. Mocha will live on in a place of honor. He lost his head. Mulligan and Thornton had one job. Mulligan and Thornton must know where the Musco mask is. Where is it? The dead don't back to life. The crown of the Grand Master. Mook's mistake is never a mistake. Just get it fucking done. They know where it is. I know they know. Where is the mask? Mulligan bleaching. We all bowed at him. The mob of the crown we will. Show the bitch who's mine! Atari well in Coffee World. <laughs> A little something to get those arms moving. My name comes up, your books come up, you come up. I've read them. There are echoes of my life in there that makes me feel like someone's been watching me. What happened to Alan Wake? The unanswered mystery. Never expected to find you alive. It's killing me. I think you like using people, Wake. Taking their lives and twisting them into your stories. And when someone gets hurt, it's kick-ass material for the next one. Shit! Spilled my coffee. Take it you're not a fan, then. Agent Casey. 
This is not your playground, and I'm not your fucking creation. It doesn't work that way. You can't make something out of nothing, even in a dark place where the rules hardly apply. It's very complicated to make fiction come true. I saw visions of what's happening. What will happen? Dreams. I try to use them in my writing. I understand how dangerous it is now. Even with a paralyzing amount of planning. I think I stopped writing. I think I gave up. But there's a manuscript. Maybe I forgot not to write. The dark place makes you forget. I just want to fix this. Find a version of the story that fixes everything. Shut up! Get down! with you anything relevant the clicker i can't trust them with it nothing comes to mind okay then your work here is done hey you did well wait my partner agent casey's mia we'll look for he's him. my partner damn it agent I be go home careful moving quick they think he's a para-utilitarian no I was so close to getting the clicker to wake. I'm not done. 
in here. Not until I find Casey. Not until my family is safe from this horror story. Thor and Odin were in the photo with a the clicker. They might know how it works. Hello, Yako. Looks like another perfect morning in paradise. I agree, Ilmo. A perfect morning for me to drink this coffee I'm holding. Oh shit, this coffee is shit. Yako, did you just drink a regular brand coffee? Oh, I did. My perfect morning is ruined. And all because of your shit coffee. If only we could have good coffee. Hey! What? What's that sound? Oh! <gasps> Ilmo, look, it's the Bright Falls blended organic coffee from Old Deer Diner. Oh, wow. I've heard that the health benefits of this coffee include increased energy, improved eyesight, better lovemaking, and deeper connection to animals. With a thermos full of hot coffee close at hand, you are always prepared for what comes next. How does it taste, Yako? I feel like a million bucks. Thanks, old dear diner coffee. Bright Falls blend organic coffee is brewed with care right here in the Pacific Northwest from coffee beans that are sourced locally in Puerto Rico. Try it today at Coffee World and the old dear diner, and don't forget to try the delicious brunch special this month only for Deer Fest. Mm. Odin's in rough shape. What happened to him? These are our twilight years. There's darkness in the water. We have our little tricks. And so do you. What's happening? It's never felt this way before. You're all grown up, Saga dearest. And you're back just in time. The forces of darkness are eating away at us. We're too old and weak. You have the power in you, like all Andersons. What was that? He wasn't a projection. Odin was really here. We were connected. Are they really my family? Is that why this is happening? I found a photograph of you with the cultists. How are you involved? We're too old for this brand of crazy, but we'll drink with anyone who's offering. The cult's been on our asses to join for years, but we already have our band, and those damn fools don't know what they're dealing with. No wonder they want a pair of legends. Torn Odin are not part of the cult. The cult thinks there's something special about Torn Odin. I'm starting to see it too. I've never connected to someone like this in my mind place before. How is this happening? I was glad to answer your call. Vikings are born travelers. You are a seer. You can see the truth. But your grandpa will want to tell you more himself. Wouldn't want to steal his thunder. Tor is in danger. You can save him. Is my mind place more than just a mental technique? Sometimes my mind place even baffles me. Is this the reason? Is there something more than intuition behind it? One thing at a time. Tor is in trouble. Once I help him, he can maybe tell me more. You said Tor is in danger. What's going on? Darkness is drawn to the spark. Tor only thinks with his hammer. Never his head. The Prince of fucking Darkness is making a comeback. 
Tor is marked by darkness. I can feel it. Is he in his room? It wants to take him, and then take me. Beware of Cynthia Weaver. Bad things happen in the wellness center. Don't let her drag him under, Saga. Does Prince of Darkness refer to Scratch? Is Tor becoming taken? I need to find him before it's too late. Stop this before more people get hurt. I found Wake's clicker. What can you tell me about it? Cut off from Tom's lamp. It washed to the shore. Good work getting the light switch. The light switch is like an amp. You can play rock and roll without it, but you won't blow anyone away. Art, like Tom's writing, can change the world. But the light switch will crank that change to 11. The clicker has the power to change the story. To save Logan. This confirms what Wake said. I can't let Scratch get his hands on the clicker. By Tom's writing, Odin must mean Wake. Rose watched Tor go into the pond. Why is she lying to me? The secret mission for Alan's number one fan. The hero will say Wake has returned. We're all characters in his story. Gee whiz. I'm not his fucking character. But I can use that phrase to make Rose stop lying to me. Wake has returned. Cynthia took Tor. What happened to her? When the darkness touches your head, your bookshelf gets shuffled. I put her lamp in the shoe box. What do you call a lamp lady without her lamp? Is Rose talking about Cynthia or herself? Or both? Page mentions a missing record. Do you know where it is, Odin? Driven by passion, raging like a storm. Your grandfather made the song to apologize to your mother, Freya, and to you. Tours like a storm. Your mother did the right thing, leaving with you. Even if it broke your grandfather's heart, and mine. Listen to the song, Saga. It's all there. Tor only had one record made. He keeps it in the museum. Odin knows my mom's name. He's saying my mom took me away when I was still a baby. Plausible. Stay on task. The record is in the museum. Anga's remorse is missing. Who took it? Our shame becomes the pale horse. Oh, Tor. Bro. Tor's love for you is in that song. That's why Cynthia wants it. To ruin him. She made Tor lust after her. We fought one scratching hag years ago. Now he's fallen for another, and we might lose him for good. One less Anderson. That isn't going to happen. Cynthia has torn the overlap. Angus remorse is the key to get there. I need to make Cynthia reveal its location. Cynthia targeted Tor specifically. Why him? Deal with the nasty Anderson fellow. His heart was broken. Cancelled. Leaks started appearing. It was too late. Shut her out of her own case. The Dark Presence is using Cynthia to keep me from talking to Tor. Where is Angus' remorse now? He is a young girl in love. A rock and roll cliche. The shadows to come alive. A gift. An on-off 
She has the record. I can get it out of her. Anga's remorse. Where is it, Cynthia? Drowned beneath dark water. Too many hands. The bathroom frightened her. Cut short. She screamed. An old folks care home. The Angus Remorse record is in Cynthia's room, in her bathtub. You again? The FBI? Saga Anderson? I'm closer now. I can feel it. You help me get closer to escaping. Wait. Where are you? Is this coming from the dark place when you were still trapped? I have the clicker. We can finish this. What about the clicker? How much do you can help? We, we, we must find it. I already have it. I can get it to you. But I have to understand. Did you write Logan into the story? Black in danger. I need to get back. I'm writing a story. It's the only way. Then change the story. If this is the past, if this is you still in the dark place, then you can do that, right? You cannot write her in. She's my daughter, goddammit! Time to come save your grandpa, huh? Nice attitude. A family trait? Uh, uh, you're right. Sorry. Thanks for helping out an old bastard like me. That's my job. Now, I've got some questions for you. <laughs> of course you do, sweetie pie. <laughs> and I got answers. <laughs> you know about my mind place? We all have the power. Find the truth. Damn right I do. Odin already told you you're a seer. You can gaze into their heads, see the truth. See past the lies. Past this bullshit horror story. Us Andersons aren't bound by it. You can fight it. Don't be the story. Make the story. It's true. I am a seer. I have a power. My mind place is more than I thought it was. This isn't my intuition. I'm seeing their thoughts. Is this why I know the truth about Logan? While everyone else forgot? the clicker. Can I use it to save my daughter? An app? Get your guitar roaring and your drums crashing. Blow reality's eardrums. Just the light switch isn't enough. It's Tom's story we're dealing with, so he's gotta be the one to rewrite it. 
After that's done, he can flick that switch to bring the whole thing home, baby. I can't use the clicker without Wake. Tom. Meaning Wake. He needs to rewrite the story first. I can't stop the horror story without him. You said you were my grandfather. If that's true, why wasn't I told about you? You were part of our fucked up family. Way before this horror story. I was a shitty fucking dad to Freya. Your mom didn't deserve that. Not one bit. Things were said and done. Not a day goes by, I haven't regretted it. But that fucking father of yours didn't make things any easier. I know Freya is gone. So I need to apologize to you. I am sorry, Saga. I can see he's sorry. Mom said she didn't want anything to do with my grandfather. And that my father died before I could remember. It all matches. Tor and Odin are part of my family. You said you were a shitty father to my mom. Is that why she left? Freya never looked back. My girl was strong. Freya always thought our powers had a dangerous side. Odin and me did fuck with things that should not have been fucked with. Your mom had common sense. She raised you right. Kept you safe. I'm not surprised she didn't tell you about the Anderson power. She was always protecting me. Whenever I told my mom about my mind place, she called it make-believe. I wish she'd been more honest with me. At least towards the end. Mom wouldn't talk about my father. You knew him? Some doors are better left closed. Your dad was a complicated bastard. Always thinking too many steps ahead. That's not how we work. There was trouble, and then he was gone. I didn't handle it well. Freya didn't want anything to do with me after that. I can't blame her. I never knew my dad or my mom's family. So many broken relationships in my past. I won't lose mine. With Logan. With David. Don't fucking give it to him! Get him, get him! He's a fucking monster, Saga! There it is! We've been waiting for you, motherfucker! I'm gonna fucking destroy you!
What do we do now? Scratch was pretending to be awake. Manipulating me. What does he want from me? No! I'm in control here. It's my mind place. He's powerful. Too powerful. Just his presence here makes me feel sick. Like a wave of terror through my head. I feel his single-minded drive to get the clicker. I assumed Wake escaped the dark place. Is it possible he's still there? The big apple in an ocean of darkness. Gone diving. Note from my editor. You're using the wrong tense. Trapped in a loop. My friends will meet him when I'm gone. Wake is still trapped in the dark place. Maybe he always was. I can tell something is wrong. What's happening to Casey? I'm a goner. Swell. A shadow crawling under my skin. In my head. Call my ex. Tell her I'm sorry. Terminal case, Casey. Something is wrong with him. He's hurt worse than he says. He's scared. Wake told me the clicker would fix this. But Wake was actually Scratch. How can I trust anything he said? The artist must conclude his work. He rides a storm on your piece. Wake up and smell the danger. We told you already, kiddo. What Tom said about the light switch is true. Don't let the story confuse you. You need him to write the ending you want. The clicker can make that ending come true. But we don't have Wake. Everything we knew about the clicker was true. He wasn't lying. Wake is still in the dark place. How do I get him out? We live and breathe rock and roll. From the silence of screams, from the fever of dreams. The Clicker can amp up other works of art, not just Tom's writing. Anything created with passion. The dark power of the lake will make it creep into reality. But if the holder of the Clicker believes in the art, they can make it all come true in the flick of a switch. I can use the Clicker without Wake. Only Wake's writing can change the horror story. But I can use the Clicker to change something else. Like getting Wake out of the dark place. to a cool guy's house to drink some brewskis. Are you coming? No, Ilmo. I'm very busy wearing a turtleneck and drinking wine. Like an asshole. Oh dear, I know what Yakko needs. I'm a beer to the rescue! Bring out your inner wolverine with I'm a beer. the best party ever. Thanks, Ahma Beer. Ahma Beer is a traditional Finnish lager, and we drink it the Finnish way. At the bar while actively avoiding small talk with strangers. Getting blackout drunk on a boat during midsummer and trying not to drown. 
in the sauna, using your beer can to hide your pippeli from wandering eyes. Partaking in the Finnish tradition of Kalsarikennit, drinking at home alone in your underwear with no intentions of going out. It's not sad if it's intentional. Alma Beer, your Finnish drinking adventure starts here. And now, the sheriff station? Did you hear? Hear what? Apparently, they locked up that crime. Oh! Now, the one who disappeared in Hello, the Mayor Setter. And then nice to meet you. Boom! All hell breaks Ooh. loose. Left big city folk. The FBI. Famous writers. Ugh. They're all bad luck if you ask me. Worked now. I could take control, no more surprises. What demons he wrestles with in the dark hours of the night. Together with our house band, the divine old gods of Asgard, we have created something very special. The song is called Herald of Darkness, but I like to call this next segment the story of the journey of Alan Wake, the musical. We just do what we always do. We'll chat. But instead of talking, we'll sing it! You grew up nice and sheltered with mama's pretty stories and your own made up fury. And mama gave me a magic clicker. Well, yes, I think it's true and fair to say.
you were drawn to stories early on My dreams would light up my imagination And you had nightmares night and day Yeah, but with the clicker I chased those frights away Ooh, You, so true So here And chilling thrillers of hard-boiled killers became bestsellers. It was all too much. I had to get away.
But there is more to it than meets the eye I never meant for it to ruin my life that way Who just say you let the jaded lie? Dark shades could never save the day So sad But true
That was pretty good. A vision? dark place am i trapped in here is this real i cannot remember there was a manuscript it held a key a vicious cycle i must not surrender to echo seems to seek out again and again until i figure it out to bring this song to its end
could I? Whoa! There's that famous temper. Lucky thing I'm not a paparazzi. You keep jerking me around, refusing to tell me who you are. You remember? You... Oh, fuck me. Alan, 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 listen, listen. Tell me, how much do you remember? Did you visit Parliament Tower? Did you find anything there? Yeah. Alice is in danger. Scratch is reaching out to her, and there, there's another manuscript. Not initiation, return. I saw the title page. I, I don't remember writing it. Return? Oh, man, this is what we're after. The Scratch can't have it. Our, our survival, the survival of the fucking cosmic everything depends on this. Come to me. Ocean View Hotel. I left my room key for you. It's right there on the payphone. Remember, the dark place works in lobes and rituals. If the waves keep pushing you away, you just need to find another way in. We go with the flow of this ocean. Catch you soon, brother. This temple of shadow and mist. There's a window in the floor and a door in the ceiling. There's no knowing. Am I standing still or running or kneeling? You're the one who's been calling me. Indeed. I'm Tom Zane. Welcome to the house of Zane. The poet. The diver. You look like me. How the hell... Or maybe you look like me, you handsome devil. The diver was a beloved character I played in one of my films. I'm a filmmaker. 
A celebrated auteur. I need answers. Why is return so important? What, Al? You, you always get worked up like this. Come on, I'll fix you a drink. We're in this together. Two artists collaborating, remember? Crafting the keys to our escape. Your magnum opus, Return, and its, its companion piece, my film. Sharing our, our life-altering visions, a, a melding of higher minds. Dreaming up our transcendental work of art. Here, in this room. 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 Return, but because we return. And that is how the magic happened. Enough of this bullshit. Alice is in danger. I need another murder site to go further. Back to Parliament Tower. Scratches. Your wife is safe back in the real New York. But Scratch is reaching for her through an overlap. Return is the key to escaping the dark place. You need to get it before that freak does. <sighs> There's a murder site here in the hotel. Let the waves of your riding carry you there. <sighs> If anyone asks, you were never here. Sometimes a quaint small town. Sometimes a hulking metropolis. Different every time we set upon the road that leads us there. And yet, like a half-remembered echo of a fading dream, always familiar to us. These are the stories that take place there. More inspiring, macabre, terrifying, heartbreaking, nail-biting, absurd, and thrilling. Sometimes all of these things at once. A haunting new season of mind-bending episodes written by Alan Wake. I am your host, Orlin Dorr, and I will see you soon in Night Spring. Another step. Somehow I was closer to home. Closer than ever before. It's you again. The FBI agent. Saga Anderson. I'm closer now. I can feel it. You help me get closer to escaping. Wake. Rogar, I'm still trapped. We have the clicker. We can feel it. Yes, you know about the clicker. It can help us. I destroyed the Dark Presence with it last time. You can help. You can find it. You must find it. I can get it to you. You have to understand. Did you write it down the story? Alice is in danger. I have to stop Scratch. I have to find Return. I need to get back to my apartment. I'm writing a story to get through. Initiation. It's the only way. Initiation. It's a story. You can do that, Rebecca. You can write out. It lasted only for a moment, like two planets passing in orbit. Saga Anderson was helping me. Helping me go deeper, closer to escape. Somehow, I had to trust her. Parliament Tower. I had to get back to my apartment, my study. I had to find the manuscript of return. 
For months, after Ellen died, I didn't leave the apartment. I was flattened by the confusion, the shock, the, the guilt, fear. I could barely get out of bed. Barry Wheeler started visiting. He even cooked me meals. I couldn't stand the guy when I first met him, but he's a better friend than I gave him credit for. And he still checks in. Even after he moved out west. Alice's work had consumed the apartment, her whole life. One morning, I saw a deer soar past my bedroom window. It was a, a balloon of some cartoon animal. And I looked out at the street below, and I saw a little girl crying. Like losing that balloon had just ended her whole world. It was the perfect image of the horror of caring. And that's when I got myself out of bed. And I picked up my camera. something in the dark something I needed to see to show the more shadows I photographed and filmed the more I felt like I was on the verge of a breakthrough I submerged myself in it I only went out at night my search became obsessive but I still had no idea what I was looking for around the infinite and capture it. I need to prove those faces are really there.
manuscript of a novel. Return. A horror story about the dark presence escaping from the dark place, taking over Bright Falls. I couldn't remember writing it. I had not written it. I would never write this. I knew who had. Scratch. A monster with my face. If this story came true, Scratch would get out, people would die. Destroying the manuscript, it wouldn't stop it from happening. I would have to fix it, edit it. I could not change the genre of the story. I'd have to work within the constraints set by Scratch. I needed someone in the story to fight the darkness. Saga Anderson. I kept seeing her in my visions. She was already in Bright Falls, already involved, but she was not in return. Not yet. I'd write her in. Try to stop Scratch within the limits of the horror story. It was almost impossible. It was taking too long. I had not reached the end. of my edits was already fading. Terrible things would happen if the manuscript came true. Scratch was there, at Parliament Tower, undoing my work. He could use the story to escape. He could go after Alice. I needed a new draft of the story. One that would get me ahead of Scratch. Zane has said we worked on Return together. That was a lie. Scratch wrote Return. I would pay Zane another visit. He had guided me to two murder sites. I needed a new one to get back to Parliament Tower. A new draft of initiation. I don't have time for this, so let's get over with. Tell me, was this all fake? A show? No one said otherwise, Mr. Wake. It was to indulge you, but we can stop pretending now. Uh, masks come off. Oh, I wouldn't go that far. I don't even think you know who's under your mask, but you know how to make things difficult for yourself. All these rules, endless, convoluted loops you insist on going through. You are so lucky, you know. There are so many people helping you. Armies of people. Myself. Your wife. Alice. I need to get to her. She's in danger. She is. Because of you. 
And so is someone important to me, someone you pulled into this. You keep opening doors, peeking in, reaching through to get what you want, and that puts you in my path. I don't know what you're talking about. I have to go now. Maybe you will make it through this time. This has gone on long enough. This and our night springs, it was a nice distraction. It's time someone gave me a straight answer here. The next time we meet, the circumstances will be very different. And you would do well to return the favor by playing your part. Or stay out of my way, Mr. Wake. Whatever you say. Something told me Zane wouldn't be happy to see me this time. I'm in control now. The second you try anything, I will shoot you in the head! Scratch wrote return, not me! You're a fucking liar! You'd given up. You stopped writing. You said it was too dangerous, that, that we didn't deserve to get out. And then he showed up. Scratch, he promised to write. To get me the hell out of here. He was magnificent. A visionary. Turn and left me behind. It's still here, and so is he. I know I fucked up. But you can still catch him before he gets out, before he gets to your wife. And when you get to him, don't hesitate. Kill the bastard for what he did to us. There's a murder site in my cinema. Where my film Nightless Night is playing. I told you not to try anything. Oh, 
mercy. Thousands have gone missing beyond the labyrinth of me. When you're lost, you're lost in your own company. And cut! Oh. Now that is drama. This is how I could help her. Saga Anderson, listen. I I've been tricked. Scratch wrote returned. I, I tried to fix the story, but he stopped me before I reached the end. He has it now. It's the key to escape. What do you mean, escape? Wait, you're a scratch. I need to stop him. I need to stop him before he gets out. He's after Alice. I'm still trapped, but I'm making progress. I wrote you in to be the story's hero. Scratch made a horror story. I need to match the genre. It has to be dark, but the hero can break through, save her family, save us all. Save her family? Are you talking about my family? Yes. Whatever you're doing, it's working. You just need to keep going. Did we have in the horror story? I was closer now. Closer than ever before. But there was no time to lose. Everything was hanging in the balance. I could still lose it all. Parliament Tower. I had to make it work this time. I could stop Scratch, get the manuscript, fix its ending. I was traveling deeper into the dark place. The poem on the wall was growing at the same pace, dogging my footsteps, like my unwanted shadow moving in the corner of my eye. It wasn't my writing. I didn't know what it was. A terrible prophecy, a curse, looming over me.
Onko täällä ketään? Ahti. <tos> Sanovat, se joka varjoon tyytyy, valon ihmeestä paitsi jää. <tos> Uutiset mistään palusta ovat ennenaikaisia. Tulin vain käymään. Ja nyt kun muistan, millaista tämä touhu täällä on, en viivy kauaa. Missä veljesi luuraa? Pisti hengiltä. Rupes käymään aivoa se aina länkytys. Uurilla ja mestarilla. Mutta ei se paskaveli kelvan edes siihen. Sä olit mestarin valittu. Vaikka mä koskaan ymmärtänyt, että miksi. Tupe rapinat, poika. Leikataan parta! 
Leikataan pojalta varta! Miksi palasit? Kun kerran lähdit? En aikonut. Mutta nyt löydän itseni täältä. Nyt on kai kirottu. Kirjoitettu sadistisen kirjailijan tarina. Kierän kehää. Maa on syklinen laulu. Miten siellä valtion kontrollivirastossa menee? Määrä virasto. En ole siellä töissä. Sitä paitsi. Sain potkut. Ei olisi tarvetta talomiehen apulaiselle. Ei ole. Tämän tilan isäntä katosi yön selkää vuosia sitten. Sen jälkeen, kun sinä lähdit. Merkit on ilmassa, että multakin loppuu hommat pian. Siksi kyselen virastosta. Me ehkä saan sieltä töitä. Malja. Mille juomme? Yöttömälle yölle. Palasit luoksemme. Palasit. Riitti vie sinut tuon puoleiseen. Sanotaan, että Aleen kurkotti liian pitkälle yön syövereihin. Eikä löytänyt sieltä enää pois. Kannattaa varaa sitä Aleenin mustaa leskeä. Taisit olla vähän heikkona häneen. Pelkäsin häntä. Me pojat oltiin aina vähän toivottomia naisten kanssa.
Tämä riitti vie sinut tuon puoleiseen. Hän palaa. Ja sinut lukitaan huoneeseen. En kierrä kehää. Tämä on spiraali. It wasn't Zane. It wasn't Scratch either. Huh? You're me? Me? I don't understand. There's a lot I don't understand. The dark place operates in loops. Time is a story. I'm calling you from a different point in that story. From the future? I'm never getting out of here, am I? Yes, you will. And no, you won't. And that is by your own choice. What does that mean? I'm sorry for what you'll have to go through. Alice's photos you found from the shoebox in the talk show basement. Before you can go to Parliament Tower, you must put them in the shoebox at her statue at the plaza to help you, to help Alice, to help Saga Anderson. I'm my own deus ex machina? Really? How many riders does it take to finish a story? One for each draft. I'm ready to head to Cauldron Lake now. Let's get the plan started. Okay, here we go. We'll be there for you. What do you need from us? I'll head to Cauldron Lake with the clicker. Scratch will try to get you, Anderson. You'll need backup. 
I can tell there's no talking you out of coming, Casey. Estevez, is there a way to get that light array to the lake? Oh, I've got you covered, so good news there. And we'll bring our mobile containment unit. It's specially built for entities like Scratch. And this work of art, Anderson. What's the plan for that? I'll make some calls on the way. Just meet me at Cauldron Lake. Tor, I need the old gods of Asgard. I need a very special song. Hell yeah! The tour bus is already loaded, and we've said our goodbyes. Ready to hit the road, just like the old times, baby. You saw this coming, huh? Of course. I need a song about Alan Wake, about bringing him out of the dark place. A writer. A lake of darkness, bringing him into the light. <laughs> it writes itself. I hope they've still got it. Hey, Alex. It'll be easier on you to ride with us. We'll have a lot of We were in a hurry. The power supply is spotty. Your Grandpa, partner here. You signal me when the song is done, and I'll use the clicker to bring Wake back. Hit it! Hello, Cauldron Lake! Great to see so many federal agents here tonight. Prepare to experience a soul searing, mind frying act of black magic and sorcery! This song goes out to our favorite tortured writer. Let these sweet tunes guide you out of the darkness. It's called Dark Ocean Summer Name. <laughs> hey, you're making me look bad in front of Saga, bro. <laughs> uh, let's try that again. <laughs> A whole lot of paranormal crimes happening right now. It's fucking awesome. I want a t-shirt. Show's drawing a crowd.
Predator said heads up. everything right. Art to bring him back? Clicker to make it real? <sighs> so where the fuck is he? I've been here many times before. I didn't know how many. This felt different. Like my last chance. If it wasn't already too late.
Was I too late? Scratch was in there, writing his horror story. There was still time to stop him. I needed to get inside. There's so much rage inside of him, I can't stand it anymore. God, I tried so hard. I can't. I can't. made a decision. Most of you won't understand. People call me an artist. But I don't care about any of that. I just wanted to show the world what I see. I can't keep going like I have been. It's time for a perspective shift. To go from photographer to subject. From artist to art. Dead. Scratch tortured her until she couldn't stand it anymore. Until she broke. And all that time, she thought it was me. Scratch was still here. He hadn't escaped the dark place yet. He was scratching my edits out of return. <laughs> I had seen this before. 
This was not Scratch. This was me. Caught in a loop. I had stopped myself trying to fix the manuscript. I was the one haunting Alice. It was always me. I killed her. I found Wake here. He appeared because of this. The summoning. That was Wake. Scratch wasn't pretending to be Wake. They're the same person. He's here! Scratch! Watch out, Anderson! Estevez, Scratch is Wake with the dark presence inside him. He wants the clicker. Change of plan. I'll lure him to the cell. When we're inside, lock it and blast it with all you got.
Official. Tear Fest is cancelled. Today, Bright Falls feels a little less bright. to get to our next gig. We're doing this for you and our lovely saga. You take care of things on this side. Don't screw it up, Tom! I'd seen it all play out, like a horror movie I'd been forced to watch. The Dark Presence held all the cards now. Done. I'm trying to move with this leg. Welcome back, Wake. You are awake now, right? With the shadow out of you? Some good news, at least. Bad news is, I haven't seen a situation this fucked since the AWE in Eagle River. The shadow's now in Alex, and Anderson is gone. We need to figure out how to salvage this. I'll do anything it takes to fix this, Agent Estevez. I'm the reason this is all happening. It's never that simple. But I should have put you in a box and shipped you off to a containment facility the second I laid eyes on you. The only question now is... Are you able to fix this? I can try. Not the most encouraging answer, but we'll make it work. Scratch. The dark presence inside Casey. It threw Saga into the lake. If she ends up in the dark place, she could be there forever. It took me 13 years to get out. Zane never did. Tor and Odin went in after her, right? Maybe they'll get her out. With the power of rock and roll. I saw them when I was trapped there. They performed in my musical. I'm immediately less optimistic about this. What's the situation? I've never seen an entity break a bureau containment unit like that. And now the Dark Presence is occupying Agent Casey? When it attacked him in the woods, it must have been preparing for this. And now he has the clicker. Scratch will go to Bright Falls and use the clicker to bring about the horrific ending he wrote for Return. But I can still fix this. How? Scratch must have the manuscript. If I can read the ending, I can rewrite it. I need to go after him. <sighs> well, you won't get very far without these. This plan is a real Hail Mary wake. I wish I could help, but this is all on you. 
I got you every kind of weapon we have available. Don't fuck it up. I needed a car. The FBI vehicle would be at the parking lot. I was awake again, clear-headed for the first time in what felt like a lifetime. I was back exactly where I left. A dark forest outside Bright Falls. A gun in one hand, a flashlight in the other. Haunted by my own writing. Alice taken from me. I knew what I had to do. Stop the horror story from coming true. Stop the dark presence. Place, the dark presence went into me. When I was pulled back here, crossing over weakened it, made it dormant. I couldn't remember what had happened, but I could feel it, getting stronger, waking up. I thought it was hunting me, closing in. It was inside me the whole time, and then it took over, it turned me into scratch.
I had to get to Bright Falls. I brought Saga Anderson into this story to help me escape. She succeeded. It cost her everything. I'd used Alex Casey in my writing for years. The real Casey had been drawn here because of that. Now he was a victim too. Saga, Casey, Alice, all this horror originates from me. It's my fault. Scratch had to be stopped. I've driven down this road before. Been driving on it forever. If Scratch had brought the dark place here, this would take me back inside. In 2010, I had dived in. A leap of faith for Alice. With no idea that the cost would be a nightmare worse than death. It had taken me 13 years to get out. Now Alice was dead. Because of me. And I was going to make that leap again, this time knowing the cost all too well. Another way to look at it? I had brought the dark place here with me. I never had gotten out. Maybe after this I finally could. It was a fool's hope. I had no choice. I had to do it. That didn't make me any less terrified. Fuck it. This is not what I expected. windows of the writer's room in the photo. That's where I had to go. To rewrite the ending of Return. It's a sick, sick story. Oh, shit. I could get out through the back. I had the book now. I could write my ending to return. I had to get to the writer's room to stop this horror story. This was an obsessive, egocentric nightmare, all revolving around a vain monster of a writer and his final divine work of art. The novel return come true. It wouldn't stop here. It would keep spreading.
had to find another way inside. What was that? Alice was dead. Was this a trap? Or was Scratch torturing me? right? From the diner. How are you here? <laughs> I'm here to save you, silly. I got your instructions. I found every hidden message you left for me. In the radio, in the wind, in the forums on my Alan Wake fan site. What? No, Rose, I haven't been leaving you any messages. Oh, I get it. Yes, Alan, only a crazy person would think you've been leaving them secret messages. <laughs> Wink. But now you need to get your butt upstairs, Alan. This shit won't write itself, no matter what William Shakespeare said. Right. Thank you, Rose. I'll do what I can. Upstairs. The writer's room must be in the attic. That's where the windows were. around and come to Keter, Tom. I have put everything ready for the visitors. I'll come to wash the floor of your room next. All you need is water and Vileda. Water is the oldest balm. Water finds its way. What water brings, it takes away. It can be clean or dirty. It can give life or drown it. Akti. I didn't expect to see you here, but it makes sense. Can you help me find my way? One last time. Mm, now there's a devil in the fist trap. Don't be spooked by it so that shit won't start beating your underpants. Okay. I'll get the door open for you, Tom. There you go. The matter is a stake. Now comes the end of the rhyme. Thank you, Ahti.
was here. I needed to write the ending. I only had one chance to get this right. Return's ending was an eternal deer fest that would keep spreading. Given time, Scratch would plunge the world into his nightmare. I had to stop that from happening. I had to write one more chapter for Return. I needed an ending that took everything already in return and extended it into a conclusion that would save us. Only the perfect ending would work. A perfect ending that would save us all. I was the only one who could write it. Everything depended on this. On me. Any second now, Scratch would burst through that door to stop me. Every plot thread dangled in my brain. It suddenly felt impossible. Something stirred in the room, coming to me. An idea. The ending has to fit the genre if it's going to work. In a horror story, there's only victims and monsters. If there is a row, they will ultimately pay a heavy price. I won't let the horror story take Logan and Casey. They were dragged into this. They need to survive. Non-negotiable. Not just them. We need to try to save everyone. The ending will have to be dark no matter what. The more people we save, the greater the cost. And the hero must pay the price. The scales always need to balance. Something felt different. I'd never seen myself in a vision before, but it fit. Saga and I were both at the center of this story. She was now my co-author. This was the beginning of the end. We were characters in a horror story, charging blindly towards the finale. We still didn't have everything we needed. This would not work without the clicker. What's going on? Am I in the field office? No. The dark presence took over Casey, stole the clicker from me. The last thing I remember is him throwing me into Colgen Lake. I'm in the dark place. I'm lost. I don't know how to get out. I don't know what to do. That wasn't me. Was it? What? Failed who? What's happening to the case board? The board says I failed them. Who's them? I let everyone down. Logan, Casey, myself. This is my fault. My daughter is dead. My partner was taken over by a monster. I'm trapped in a dark place. Powerless. I'm not powerless. What is happening here? This isn't me. Casey. Casey depended on me, and I let him down. I wasn't watching his back. I got wrapped up chasing the wrong lead. He beaded me. Now he's turned into a monster. He needed me.
Logan. I neglected my family for my job. I was too thrilled by the cases. The mysteries. I liked how dangerous the work was. And now that danger has destroyed my family. It killed my daughter. No. I am a terrible mother. I let my daughter die. Scratch took Casey, and it's my fucking fault. I'm a failure. This is what I deserve. The story. My life, my family is just part of a book. Another white asshole deciding what I get to do, how I get to do it. He took my daughter from me. I'll never be free of this story from him. He used her. She's not dead. God damn it. with this it just keeps coming back something's very fucking wrong here these. This isn't... He was being corrupted, and I did nothing. Scratch was wake. How could I miss that? Casey was hurt. I should have been watching his back. This case... This room... Is any of it even real? Night Springs. Logan and David love that show. Their weekly ritual. What is this? What's happening? What? It feels like I'm trapped in a nightmare. Stuck in an echo chamber with all my fears, my doubts, my insecurities.
was so obvious the Koskala brothers were behind the cult. The cult was just the beginning of the spiral. Logan. The horror story used her. I'm had it with you, cultist maniac! I never should have left Casey at the hotel by himself. I spent too much time away from Logan. Come on! What? No. What's happening to me? That's not... No. I hate this, but it's all true. I had tried to silence these thoughts. Focus on the case. But I can't escape them anymore. I'm drowning. I need a way out before I'm dragged under. God damn it! No. There has to be a way out. I need a way out. Oh god. None of this is real. I've lost it. I'm not even here. The mind place isn't real. A case about supernatural darkness. I'm having a full-on psychotic break. I drag Logan away to a tin can in Watery. She's dead because of me. There has to be a way out. I need a way out. It's over. There's no point trying. Everything is lost. There's no way out. No way to fix this. There's no way out. I'm stuck here forever. Just me and my past. My guilt. My mistakes. I'm not getting anywhere. I'm stuck. But this is my mind place. My mind. Everything I need is here. It, it has to be. Oh! The lights! No. No. I'm not giving up. Focus, Saga. The answers I need are here somewhere. I just have to look. Scratch was too much for us. I should have made KC stay behind. My badge. Never should have taken this case. No. I'm not reading anymore. Hey. hey. Just calling to say thanks for your note. Sometimes, Sometimes I just, I just get, in get in my head, head too, too, much. too much. So, so thanks for pulling me out. out. You're really You're the best, really best boss. boss. Really. really. Okay. okay. Talk soon. Talk soon.
made you a charm bracelet for good luck. I made a matching one for me, so bring me back something cool from Washington. I am honored by this award. Thank you. While our agency must continue to improve, the work we do here, protecting communities, Pursuing the truth. It's the most important work there is. Stop blaming yourself, Anderson. A knife in the arm is just part of the job. If you're gonna keep fussing, you can get the hell out. Look, <laughs> Dad, leave the whiskey. whiskey. Anderson, uh, look, look, after Brand left, it was, uh, well, well, I was in a, was in a bad, bad place. place. You dragged me to those dinners at your house with your family. It really, uh, meant a lot. Thank you. Thank you. Casey trusts me. I know he does. It's not too late. I can still save them. No matter what I do, someone will get hurt. I don't know what to do. I'm afraid. I'm my own worst enemy. The fears in my head are stopping me from trying. From leaving. What the fuck? I can't let this place make me question myself. I know what I'm doing. I have no idea what I'm doing. I can't do this. Logan isn't anyone's plot device. She's my daughter. And she's not dead. Dead! She's dead! I didn't save her. It's okay to be afraid. But I can't let this end here. I can't, I can't, I can't! I just... I just want it to stop! Giving up won't make this stop. Logan needs me. Casey needs me. No, no, no! I've made mistakes. I'll make more. But I can do better, and I can start by leaving this room. I'm afraid it will hurt, but nothing will hurt more than not trying to save them. It will hurt, but I will fight. I can't do this. The Dark Place tried to trap me here. The only way to leave is facing it head on. Wake called it a nightmare. I need to dive into that nightmare and find a way back home.
Agent Anderson. Is that really you? Sorry, this place likes to play tricks. Sheriff Breaker? What happened to you? How did you end up in the dark place? And I was brought here. Snatched away from the morgue by a man named Orlin Dorr. Been trying to piece it together for... Well, it feels like a long time now. I need to get to Parliament Tower Plaza. Do you have any idea where it is? This place, it's like trying to find your way around in a dream. I've been trying to map it, but it keeps looping, shifting. Like, there are many versions stacked on top of each other. There is a page. It describes Dor finding his way through this place. I tried to follow the steps, but... No luck. Who is this Dor person? He's here. Somewhere. I've been seeing his face in my dreams for years. <laughs> this whole thing is insane. But he is much more than he seems. He's connected to all of this. Can I see that page, Tim? Of course. In fact, it's the page I tried to give you back in the morgue in Bright Falls. Huh. Now that I think about it, maybe Dor brought me here to keep you from reading it. Here. I'm gonna keep looking for Dor. The closer I get, the closer I feel to waking up. I need to find the man behind the curtain. Orlin Dor walked across the rain-slick tiles of Caldera Street Plaza. He stopped at the door to the construction yard. A poster for his talk show hung there. He stepped through, willing it to take him to Parliament Tower Plaza. I know what I need to do. The door to Parliament Tower Plaza was at the construction yard. Oh. Yes? Hello. Uh, you don't know me, but you need to listen. Hold on. How did you know the clicker would be there? This is important. Alan's lost. He doesn't have the ending. He needs your help to finish the story. How am I supposed to help him from here? Okay. I'm in the dark place. Wake is in Washington. I could talk to him in overlaps before. My mind place is more powerful than I ever knew. I can try to contact him. This is the first time I've seen a page about Warlandor. Who is he? A door that stands between two rooms is in both. A door that can lead anywhere is everywhere. That door is the center. He governs the currents of reality. With all the powers mixed up in this, it's hard to know who's playing who. Opening too many doors. This isn't important right now. I can look into it later. The page describes him moving through the door. How can I do that? The dark place has many faces and many names. It is a mirror reflecting all possible realities. The family of doors have the power to shift between these realities, here and elsewhere. If I can find a way to navigate through this nightmare, maybe I can find a way to get back home. Alan. We need to talk about the ending. Saga, what is this? My mind place. I've reached out to you like this before. But I understand more about it now. You see a visions too. I used to think they were ideas, inspiration, but they're real. Just like this now. 
I try to use him to make the story come true. So this is coming from both of us? Maybe that's how we could communicate in the overlaps. We could use this to stop Scratch. First, I need the ending. <sighs> So there's a problem with the ending? I don't have the ending. It has to be perfect, but I don't have time to figure it out. I don't know what to do. Fuck. I'm so sorry. This whole thing is a fucking mess. I agree. But we can still figure this out. And what exactly does perfect mean? The elements of the ending need to come from the story's pre-existing parts. To make matters worse, this is a horror story. You don't need to tell me this is a horror story. Right. The ending has to fit the genre if it's going to work. In a horror story, there are only victims and monsters. There must be a way to bring a hero into the story. If there is a hero they will ultimately pay a heavy price. So the ending has to be earned, set up by the story. You can't build a case without supporting evidence. That's the only way to make it stick. I can't let the horror story take Logan and Casey. They were dragged into this. They need to survive. Non-negotiable. Not just them. We need to try to save everyone. I have an idea how to help Casey. He's a real person who I twisted into a character. He isn't my creation, so he isn't a suitable host for the Dark Presence. I can write that into the ending to drive that fucking thing out of him. the ending has to fit the story. This is how I see it. Return is a story about a story that comes true. And I'm a character in the story. Not just a character. The hero. Okay, a hero. <laughs> in any case, I've been through hell to be here. And this is my life. It feels earned to me that I rise above the story and be there to create the ending. Yes, that's what we're doing. Here, now, we're figuring out the ending I need to write. This isn't Scratch's ending, but this isn't your ending either. This is our ending. You aren't the only one deciding these things anymore. You're right. I can't do this alone. Every time I write, things only get worse. You beat this thing back in 2010, Alan. And here you are doing the same again. You're a hero too. We're in this together. Then let's bring it home. The ending will have to be dark, no matter what. The more people we save, the greater the cost, and the hero must pay the price. One of the heroes. The scales always need to balance. <sighs> Fuck it. Let's go with this. Are you sure? There's no time for anything better. Scratch could be here any second. Then that's our ending. I have the clicker. I'll find a way to get it to you. And I'll get the pages down. See you on the other side.
finished it. The ending we talked about. I have the clicker and the bullet of light. Let's do this. I have to be the one to do it. I feel like I've always been on this journey. Okay. It must end here, this darkness. What lies under the surface now shifts. A play of shadows catching my eye, thrusting my face into the water. He's here. It's shockingly cold. Past the mirror of the surface. And I will see. Okay, see? The end. Stretch! Now! A white searing light of truth that for a flash pierces the shadows and reveals the hidden horror. And in that moment of silence, the whispered message finally heard. of shadows fool us all, subterfuge to get our price of admission. Darkness not as a monster, but as emptiness. We're none the wiser. No answers, no truths. The hero turns to look inside. It's destroyed by what he sees, and is redeemed. Saga said we're both heroes. I'll pay that price. So will she. We are here to kill the monster. I pray nothing comes after this. Nothing will sleep. This is how we win. Is it too easy? What if this is still the dark place, another dream to wake up from, always coming back to the beginning? The memory of what came before burned away by this terrible realization. Maybe it's a mercy, forgetting, to know nothing when we loop around, back to the... is just for you. After the haunting started, I got in touch with an organization that was still looking into what happened in Bright Falls. I went to their offices and something happened there. After I got home, I could suddenly remember everything. I remembered being trapped inside that lake, a dark ocean with, with Echoes of myself, my, my, my fears, my photos. Inside a dark tide of, of madness, the same events and images looping again and again. And then I saw a light. Your light. You dove in just as I swam out. You never drowned. And you're still there reaching out. That is what the haunting is. I can see you because I've been there too. I chose to come back to the dark place. That is why I put on this exhibition. I had to mislead you so that I could get you to where you needed to be. The only way out of your loop is destruction or ascension, light or dark. And we've covered the destruction part many times over. And we're getting to the ascension bit by bit. Time means nothing here. You'll still need to go through the loop. But I will keep showing you the images you need to see, the light you need to see, until you're ready. Ellen, I think we're getting close. <gasps> it's not a loop. It's a spiral. 